Assalamu alaikum. How are you today, everyone? I hope you're doing well. It's math class, and today we are going to continue the lesson that we have started yesterday. So let's do some actions. I want you to stand up. Stand up, everyone. Sit down again. Stand up. Jump and shout. It's math class. Well done, everyone. So now we can start the lesson of today by reading the day and date. So I need your help to read the day and date. So who's going to help me today to read the day and date? Well done. It's Monday, June 1, 2020. June 1? Wow, it's a new month. It's June 1. It's the first day of June. Okay, inshallah, it will be a good start. Okay, so everyone, yesterday we talked about centimeters and meters, right? And we said that we use the centimeters and meters to measure the length of an object, right? And measurement will help us a lot in our life. And we can use it for many purposes. So brainstorm and think about why do we use centimeters and meters in our life? Okay? So write your answers in a piece of paper and at the end of the lesson we will say why do we use centimeters and meters in our life. So let's start the lesson everyone talking about here we go the ruler and the meter stick. These are the tools we use when we want to measure the length of an object. But I said yesterday, everyone, we use the ruler to measure the short objects. We use the ruler to measure the short objects. While we use the meter stick to measure the long objects. So, we use the meter stick to measure the long objects. So everyone, make sure that you know when to use the ruler and when to use the meter stick. Here we go everyone. By the end of this lesson, my super students will be able to use a centimeter ruler to measure objects. Okay, so what I want you to do now is to get your math book because we're going to use it. Grab some pencils and of course get your ruler. Mental math time. So what I want you to do everyone is to read the question carefully and slowly. Remember the steps or let me say the strategies we used to follow. So you need to read the question carefully. After that, underline what do you know, underline what do you need to find, plan, and finally, check your answer. So let's read the question together. Muhammad had 15 dirhams. Okay. He gave Ali 5 dirhams. How many dirhams does Muhammad have now? So read the question again. Here, how many dirhams does Muhammad have now? So everyone, what are you going to do? Are you going to subtract or add? So stop the video for a while, write your answer down and then check it out. Excellent! Your answer is correct. So what did you do everyone? Excellent. 
you lined up the numbers neatly and nicely and when you subtract you put or you write the big number on the top and the small number below great excellent job everyone so now let's move to the problem of the day so everyone circle the the answer that is the same as one meter so what is your answer everyone i want you to use your back account knowledge and to remember what i said before about meters and centimeters and it's important to remember that 100 centimeters makes one meter so what is the answer you are right this is the answer 100 centimeters okay my super super students there are two videos about measuring length in centimeters and also meters so watch the videos carefully and when you come back we will continue the lesson of today okay so everyone let's read what's written over here use a centimeter ruler to measure in centimeters and use a meter stick to measure in meters there are 100 centimeters in a meter so everyone look over here as you can see we used the ruler to measure the paper clip so there are some steps to follow you need to line up the ruler carefully okay remember this so you need to start from number zero and then you are gonna stop at the end of the object so everyone let's do some measurements are you ready so get your math book and open page 687 okay so first of all i want to everyone to write the day and date after that read the question carefully find the object estimate the length measure each object in centimeters or meters so when i say estimate it means you are gonna predict so for example you are gonna look at the let's say the closet and you're gonna think about how you're gonna measure this are you going to use the ruler or the meter stick so i want to everyone to think about when i say estimate you need to think about how many meters or how many centimeters long is the closet okay so just try to put a number okay after that you measure it you use the ruler or the meter stick to measure the closet okay so first of all you're gonna say like i think this closet will be about three meters or two meters okay so you're gonna think about it first after that you are gonna get the uh the proper tool so you need to think about the tool that you are going to use when you measure okay so for the short again for the short objects you're going to use the ruler and for the long objects you're going to use the meter stick so what i want you to do everyone is to find something like this like this object and try to measure it before you measure it you need to estimate when i say estimate you need to guess how many centimeters long is the object okay so write write it over here and then you get whatever the ruler or the meter stick and try to measure and then check your estimation and if your estimation is close to your measurement so i'm gonna leave this task for you everyone try to find 
such objects and measure them, write your answers down and send them to me. Now let's move to task number two, the last task for today or the last thing that we are going to do for today, okay? So I want you to open page 688, okay, write the day and date, read the problem, think about it, okay? Remember the steps we uh, always follow when we have a problem. So let's read the question carefully. Let's say Omar runs the 100 meter dash two times. How many meters does he run in all? Wow, that's so easy. Let me underline what I know and what I need to find. So Omar runs the 100 meter dash two times, two times. So I'm going to say 100 and 100 okay because he runs the 100 meter dash two times so 100 plus 100 stop the video for a while write the answer down and then come back and check the answer okay what is your answer everyone 200 wow you are so smart let's check the answer great well done and here we go i want everyone to identify objects in the house that are about 10 centimeters long okay so i want you to do also this today so have a great day, everyone. Bye.